What's up, this is Rob Martin, the genius from Flatbush, Brooklyn. See what it is, my Red Wall Freestyle, check it out. I heard they was mad about the debut. Don't blame me, blame your label. Don't blame me, blame your manager. I need a meal for the fam, don't be mad at us. We only fucking with fam, we like the Lannisters. Mop the competition up like the janitors. Mop the competition up, it's like Andy up. I heard you and your feelings, dog. should probably pull your panties up. Shut out whole vein, they said I was so vain. Now they see my interviews all over the globe, man. Plus I could rap too, I want the whole thing. So don't short me no dimes, please. You don't wanna play with the king, okay Kyrie? I'm feeling myself, don't mind me. I saw Mary J, she said, you remind me. It's like I've been here before, on a bad boy tour, rocking linen galore. Just make sure my rider right. Safe to say, y'all fucking with the rider, right? Really, man, my inspiration just in life of the things that you know came up around me coming up. I saw a lot of people before, you know, I seen my brother get locked up, my cousin was murdered, you know, you, you go and friends go to jail and in and out of jail and, you know, I kind of seen all the, where we came up with the environment, like how it could really end up for people and I wanted something different for myself. So kind of seeing the negative things that the people close to me went to really made me make a choice early on in my life that I was going to, you know, really, really make something out of my life. I mean, for me as an artist, my musical inspirations, I mean, I'm from Brooklyn, so it's always whole all day. But, you know, I, I listen to cats like Scarface. You know, I really came up, like, listening to Scarface. I feel like there's very few um, MCs, artists, who, who get to the heart of the matter, like he did. Um, the Fix changed my life. Obviously, Nas, um, Pac, Big. And then, but now that I'm in it, like, living in today, it's really, the folks around me that's raising the ball, like of this generation, like, you know, I, I live in a space where, you know, I interview people and then I go to the studio at night. So I do my artist interviews in the day, I go to the studio at night. So, you know, being able to sit with a cat like Pusha T and, and really see how, like, he crafted his Daytona album gives me inspiration. Or, you know, watching the Kendrick Lamar or J. Cole or something like that. I mean, the thing that motivates me most, I mean, you know, they, they ask the question, the thing what motivates me more, the culture, the entertainment aspect of the game, it's the culture. You know, when we talk about hip hop culture, to me that, that says community, you know, and it ain't no fun. When I think about ent the entertainment aspect, it seems lonely as hell, you know, and so I'm more into the culture, I'm more into the community, I'm more into, yeah, it's cool when I'm in front of these lights and cameras and I love it, but as a fan of it, I love to see other deserving people in front of these lights and cameras too. So we do things to help each other. We do things to uplift each other. We do things to raise the bar. You know, if I'm writing a verse and, you know, I, I might hear like a brother like Oswin Benjamin like write a verse and I'm like, oh man, I got to step mine up. Like not on some competition, on some raise the bar. That's culture. It's like continually pushing each other forward and continually for the next generation to have it in a better place than it was left for us. You know, when I went into my debut project, Write the Dream, I approached it, I just wanted to tell my story. Like, you know, coming up, and most people know me as a journalist, I aid and assist others in telling their story. You know, um, when I'm doing an interview with somebody, you know, like a, a Kendrick Lamar, you know, it's, it's his story. You know, I got into a place where I had a story to tell myself. I never had the space to tell my own story. And Write the Dream, my debut project, was the perfect place to do that. So a lot of people who, who knew me from journalism, then for the first time got to hear things like how I got affected when my brother got locked up, or how I got affected when my cousin got murdered, or, you know, my OG, O, who used to, you know, like really be out here in these streets selling. And when I went to him, like, yo, I want to get down, I want to make money too, how he almost slapped fire out of me and instead gave me two turntables and eight crates of records and said, nah, you're going to do this music thing. Like, there's a lot that happened in my life before journalism that I just needed to kind of get off my chest.
you know, when I get up in the morning, my, my mantra, my motto is definitely right to drink. Like, you know, and I spell it W-R-I-T-E because I started out as a journalist, as a writer, but it's really right to dream. Like you have the right to dream. So it's really when I wake up in the morning, the things that I kind of thought on the night before or the dreams that I had and stuff like that, I wake up in the morning ready to manifest that. Yo, what's up? I'm Rob Markman and I am culture and entertainment. Are you not entertained?